So on today's episode, we're going to go over 10 easy millionaire habits that will change your life. Check out 40 boxcom to master your money. So what are habits? Habits are defined as such. A settled or regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to give up. For example, we stay together out of habit. This can explain why people who are in a horrible relationship end up staying together and eventually getting married even though they no longer love one another or even sleep with each other. So what you will learn in this episode, useful habits that will change your life for the better, and easy habits to understand and implement. So number one, they literally don't care. Millionaires don't care about keeping up with the Joneses. Look, we get it. We all have at one time bought something to make us feel like we were part of the group. In fact, it's practically human nature to be part of the larger social pack. But you have to understand that when you rely on the feeling of fake status that comes with keeping up with the Joneses, you're literally only doing this for yourself and hurting yourself in the process. Millionaires don't keep up with the Joneses. Why? Because the Joneses are broke. They're living a life they can't afford, and that's not the millionaire lifestyle. Instead of focusing on status, millionaires focus on financial freedom, independence, and happiness. Most millionaires will tell you that acquiring more stuff doesn't lead to happiness. When you're 80 years old, do you think you'll be worried about that nice car you drove when you were 30? This might surprise you, but only one in four millionaires have spent $100 on a pair of shoes. Number two, they read often. Reading is a skill that many people overlook. Now, when we say read, we don't just mean reading a book. Reading in the context that we're talking about is where you are purposefully gaining knowledge. For example, reading a book about investing listening to an audiobook about cooking fully nutritious meals, watching a YouTube video on the foundations of programming an app for an iPhone or Android. Gaining knowledge is something most people stop doing right after high school and after college. Once you get a job that is able to just pay the bills, people stop putting in the extra effort and time to simply increase their knowledge even by 30 minutes a week even. But they'll gladly spend 10 hours per week scrolling through TikTok learning the WAP dance. 88% of millionaires devote 30 minutes a day or more to self-improvement and self-education. They read things like this to help them gain and acquire knowledge. They don't rely on Facebook or Twitter for the latest news. And to them, self-development books are much more important than the latest reality show. They turn unproductive time into something productive. Number three, they don't waste time. There is only 1,440 minutes in a single day. Make sure to plan your day out to make sure you utilize every minute to the best that you can. 67% of self-made millionaires spend less than an hour watching TV each day. 63% spend less than an hour a day on social media. Instead, they spend that time pursuing their goals, dreams, reading, learning, exercising, volunteering, and networking. So how can you become more productive? Try creating a schedule where you plan out every hour from when you wake up to when you go to bed. The reason why most of us feel like there is no time in the day is due to us aimlessly wandering around without a specific goal in mind. Number four. They have multiple streams of income. One of the most important habits of millionaires is that they don't place all their eggs in one basket. The more sources of income you bring in, the more potential you have to rake in bigger paychecks. And it helps with economic downturns. Unexpected expenses pop up. Economies tank. Medical expenses happen. And the average millionaire has seven streams of income. Not only does it increase their wealth, but it offers them opportunities to develop new connections with people. These connections are what lead to better opportunities and growth. It earns them more money and puts them in new places with new people. 
Number five, big picture thinking. Harvard University conducted a study a few years ago. They asked students if they had set specific written goals as well as if they've made their clear plans to achieve them. Can you guess what they said? Only three percent had written goals and plans to achieve them. Thirteen percent had goals in their heads but hadn't written them down, and eighty-four percent had no goals at all. After ten years, the same group of students were interviewed again, and the results were surprising. The thirteen percent of the class who had goals but didn't write them down still earned twice the amount of the eighty-four percent who had no goals. And the three percent who had written goals were earning, on average, ten times more than the other ninety-seven percent of the class combined. This is an, this is an example of how goal setting will transform your life. Millionaires process success, and here's the thing: goals are only goals when they have written plans to achieve them. And if you keep a calendar and a to-do list, you're two hundred and eighty-nine percent more likely to become a millionaire versus if you don't. Number six, wake up early. One study found that almost fifty percent of millionaires wake up at least three hours before their workday starts. So why should you do that? Because when it's early in the morning, you're less likely to be interrupted. No one is going to call or text you. There aren't any meetings, and you don't have to worry about emails flowing in. It's pure you time. And that's why the first two hours after waking up are often called the golden hours. So you should use them wisely. And some people either do this to work on a business they they want to start up. Some point, some people will actually use this to end up exercising if that's their main goal, right? Like if you're wanting to like lose weight or maybe just start your bodybuilding process or just get a bigger butt. Like I don't know what your goals are. Some people will actually end up waking two hours earlier than they do now, so that they have time to go to the gym, work out, and get everything that they need to get done in the morning. Number seven, tracking spending. Most millionaires know how much they spend on groceries, gas, and every other household line item. The reason for this is that you can't make a solid plan on your financial future if you don't understand your current financial situation. Millionaires run their personal finances like it's a small-scale business, making sure every dollar has a purpose. This allows them to have the freedom to buy what they want, invest what they want, go on trips that they want, because they know the flow of money in and out of their accounts. Number eight, delaying gratification. Millionaires are capable of delaying short-term gratification. They are able to sacrifice the wants of now for the larger goal down the road. They have no problem buying a used or older car. They live in a modest home. They don't need the latest iPhone. Still with me? Eighty-six percent of luxury cars are driven by non-millionaires. Rich people are more likely to buy Toyotas, Hondas, and Fords. And in fact, the most purchased car. Or vehicle by millionaires is a Ford F-150, because the quickest way to be middle class and stay there is to keep the never-ending payments. Delayed gratification is one of the most effective personal habits of millionaires. People who learn to manage their short-term desires thrive more in their careers, relationships, health, and financial lives. But when they do buy expensive items, It is typically funded from investments in the form of inactive income, rather than active income like their business or job. Thus, they use money for toys when they are not having to go out of the way to earn the money for it. Number nine, hanging with achievers. Millionaires will hang with high achievers. They want to be motivated by others. They want to improve their skill sets. And the people you surround yourself with matters. Did you know that your net worth mirrors the level of your closest friends? Winners are attracted to winners. We become the people we spend time around. And so, one of the hallmarks of self-made millionaires is their conscious effort to associate with like-minded people. They don't hang out with people who spend money like they're in Congress. If you want better habits, then hang out with better people. 
This is why if you're hanging around with people who commit crimes, you'll most likely commit a crime as well. Or if you hang out with bodybuilders, you'll most likely get involved in bodybuilding in some form. Your friend group can shape the life that you take. Number 10, investing. Most millionaires invest about a minimum of 20% of their income. This allows them to consistently provide for their future and their children's future, creating a path to generational wealth. This includes retirement, 401ks, Roth IRAs, etc. They invest consistently in things they have knowledge in, ensuring that no matter what happens to their active source of income, they can live out their lives not living on the side of the street. They don't look for get-rich-quick investments. They don't make emotional sales when the stock market is down or the economy is hurting. They are just consistent with their money and where they put their money. Bonus, they are satisfied. Millionaires have learned to be satisfied with what they actually have. They don't care to impress people, and that is what helps lead to their happiness. Gratitude builds happiness. They are content with the life they built for themselves, and they find ways to improve that doesn't involve having to have the nicest car or biggest home. They realize it's not a good deal if they don't need it. Millionaires aren't winning because they're lucky. They're winning because they follow these simple habits on a regular basis throughout their lifetime. These habits add up. Now, this doesn't mean they don't like nice things. It just means that they don't care if they have nice things or not, to where it has no impact on their level of happiness. Basically, they are not emotionally tied to nice things. But if they, if they like supercars, they'll go buy a supercar, but they're not like, I need a supercar right now because I want to look good for my friends or I want to feel happier and this will make me happier, right? It's either... Oh, that looks cool. I like it. I have money coming in from investments to buy it. And so I will literally not be impacted negatively at all by buying this car. I can literally burn this amount of money in front of my driveway and not care. Like that's the way that they view that stuff. It's all about toys. All, all those things are just toys. Check out and watch more personal finance lessons. Subscribe, like the video, check out 40 to master your money and for personal finance courses, money tools, links in the description of this episode, and stay tuned for more.